What's going on, guys? This is Q. I'm going to show you the Potemkin versus uh, Biken matchup. This is on the Sin patch, so if you're in the future, get fucked. Data might not be exactly accurate. So, round start against Biken is weird. They almost always start with uh, Far Slash almost every single time. So, normally I would do this, but for some reason, Heat Knuckle doesn't hit. So, instead of doing Heat Knuckle, you got to go into uh, I Recommend Garuda. So, you get Oki right after. But you can also do Mega Fist if you want. Get the Oki or get the damage. But yeah, doing Garuda, probably your best bet for Oki. But that does work. That is the most popular round start. When Biken pressures you, they do a couple different things. The most popular one is the mat, right? So when they do the mat, you should push block it. Because when you push block it, the mat has two hitboxes. And they have a gap in between. So when there's that gap, you can push block her out. And then you can do far slash heavy slash to hit her almost every range and variation. There's other stuff you can do. Like if they do close slash heavy slash, you can command grab. But trust me, just, just take the far slash heavy slash. It works every single time. But yeah, if you don't push block it, you can't do it. You'll just get counter it. And then if they pressure you with close slash and stuff like that, and they go into whatever that move's called instead... There's a couple different things you can do. So one, if you just don't push block at all, and you try to Mega Fist, you're going to get counter hit, right? If you start push blocking it, you can outrange it, the Mega Fist, and get a counter hit. Or get, yeah, just get a Punisher or a counter hit, depending if they do the follow-up or not, which is really cool. But then what's really fucking cool is how far back she gets push blocked. So like, if you just push block from the start, kind of just like the mat, her, her heavy slash will just whiff completely. So same thing, it doesn't just happen in the corner. You can do it mid-screen as well. If you push block, there's the gap. However, the heavy slash usually doesn't whiff for some reason when you push block it here, only in the corner. So weird instance, but yeah, little funny thing. If she does air to Tommy, you can flick them. So just a thing, if they spam this, you can just start flicking them. Usually, you probably won't get that much out of it, but good tip. Sometimes I fight some Vikings that spam it, so I just start flicking. So after they hit the claw, you can usually make a fist away or make a fist towards them, right? This is a good idea if they don't have meter. If they have meter, they're kind of expecting it, right? So always when you get hit by the claw, look at their meter real quick. Just try to get a habit like glance at their meter to see if you should make a fist or not. Because if you don't make a fist, this ha or if they do have meter, this happens. So that will happen. So on neutral against Biken, she kind of does three things most players do. So I'll try to break them all down. So first off, it's the claw again. There's a weird spacing thing with her, right? So if you're around this range, Biken players want to use the claw. And like I showed you before, you can go over it. But the real trick is that when she does the claw, it has 18 frame startup. So you can react to it. So she has this animation where she kind of like goes backwards and lunges her hand forward. You can slap her hand, right? And because it has 18 frame startup, that's only when it starts with the, like right next to her. It's 18 frame startup from like right here when it can reach you. From here, there's even more frames to react to because the claw has to travel. What I'm trying to tell you is that when you see the animation, you can press heavy slash and kind of slap her hand, right? So when you're playing footsies against Biken, you kind of want to look for her to like lunge back like that and just slap her. You have a good amount of time, but as you saw, if you do it too slow, it happens like that. So you kind of want, the thing is it extends her hurt box forward. So ranges you usually wouldn't think you can hit her, you can hit her. Now, all you really get out of it is, you know, go and hammer fall to get in. But if you have a bar of meter, that's, that's a big deal. So you can get this type of stuff, you know? I'm just gonna do the whole combo. I wasn't planning on it, but yeah, use stuff like that. However, the thing we're mostly scared of is her instant air dash, right? So I know it sounds stupid for me to tell you guys this, but at the, in the back of your mind against bike, it just keeps 6P ready. If, if she hits you with this, your turn's over. You're gonna get mixed up. You're gonna have to deal with, you have to deal with so much pressure just letting her jump air dash in, right? So even at like max range, you can hit it. it her her weird metal thing she throws out doesn't have a disjoint that I know about. So if you see it, you can 6P it. Right now, you're keeping your head to look out for her instant air dash, her uh, claw. And there's one more thing they love to do. They love to run in and do her crouching heavy. So this move is really hard to stuff. 
I do not recommend it. You can stuff it. You you can, but I'm struggling on the replay, you know? And I know the timing. So in a real match, it's hard as fuck to stuff a well-spaced one, right? If they whiff it, you can whiff punish it really easy. So that's good news. The other good news is Potemic has one of the longest backdashes in the game. Thus, if you see her trip over and you have the reactions to do it, you can just backdash it. It's just the timing does take a little bit, but you can backdash it like that and you get a big punish out of it. As I fuck up the punish. You pretty much do anything you want as a punish there, but it is not easy, but I'm just showing you it's an option you can do if you see it coming. So if you get hit by the other Kabari, the string one, she is plus two on block and her jab is four frames. So this should not work, but it works for me all the fucking time. They either throw or they jab. So just you th using throw usually beats both options. I don't know why. It, it On paper, this should not work. But even in my recording of the mes just mashing P, it works. Now, the option that loses to is when they backdash. But sometimes when they backdash, they, st they stay in the air for a little bit. So sometimes they'll miss the punish. But yeah, if they do this in the backdash, you're kind of fucked. But normally, throw. They can be well spaced, though. So you're not even like in throw distance. Like right here, there's no, there's, I just have to hold it. Probably get hit by an instant overhead or something. But speaking of instant overhead, her instant overhead is really good against Pot because it catches back Mega Fist stuff. So a lot of times when I'm in the corner, they'll just use this to anti-air me because they're they're scared of Mega Fist. They want to do instant overhead. It just it's like a multi-optional tool. However, she is in air state. So on hard reads, if you see a Biken's using this a lot, you can six P it. And then you beat it out. Even from farther ranges away, your 6P will usually beat or eat it up like that. So if you think it looks like they're going to instant overhead, 6P. It's a big gamble. It's risky, but I'm just saying it works. See so your gun super at this range. You can go over it, but it's really fucking tricky. So during this animation, oops, during this animation, just spam make a fist. But you saw right there, it still didn't work. You can go over it, but the timing's really tough. And if you're farther back, like right over here, you actually can't go over it. And it, it like sets you up for a combo. See that shit? So my biggest recommendation, if you see Gun Super, don't be a hero. Just FD it. Or instant block if you can, because that negates chip too. But just, just FD it. She's slightly plus. It's not that big of a deal. Fun little tidbit. It goes up through Giganter Kai as well. Most projectiles lose to it, but hers goes through it. So, don't feel safe behind Giganter Kai. Mm. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting about? Uh, I covered air stuff. Um... All right, so we're going to talk about Biken's parry real quick. One thing I want to know about her parry, it's active frame one. So safe jump setups that usually work do not work against Biken because she has a frame one parry. Safe jump setups are usually set for seven frame DP. So a problem with her thing or with her parry is that she can parry Garuda and stuff. And it's really easy to react to because it's a big animation that we're doing, right? So going for Garuda is a lot more risky against Biken, but I have a trick. So if I'm gonna do Garuda against Biken, I do something like this. So I wanna do times like that, right? I wanna do moments where it looks like my Garuda's gonna hit them on wake up, but it's delayed, so it catches the end of their parry. I'll show you another example. So when I do these situations, obviously if she wakes up jab, she's gonna beat me. But because they're looking for Garuda and their brain's trained to say, oh, parry Garuda, they get hit by it all the fucking time. My last thing is most of the bike and matchup is you just getting mixed up. 
I can't help you with that. Just push block. It's really good against her to get her to whiff. Get, you need to start recognizing when she's going to whiff. So you can just far slash, heavy slash her, or sweep if you want to. I, re I still recommend far slash, heavy slash. It's the safest one, fastest frames. But you can go, you can get greedy with a sweep if you start feeling comfortable in the matchup. But yeah, I, I hear a lot of people say they're intimid by, intimidated by this matchup. So hopefully this helps. If you liked what you saw, I would appreciate a subscribe. And also, uh, if you want to ask what character you want to see next, leave it in the comments or something. Because uh, I just pick these at random and characters I know well. So yeah. Have a good one.